Well, I'm here with uh, James Downham, and James is the sales manager for Premier Velocity, the supercar providers in the UK. Um, James, thank you for joining me in what is probably the most expensive seat I will ever interview in. Um, Are you sure about that? Probably. Now, <laughs> uh, sales manager for a supercar company. Yes. It doesn't exactly sound like the hardest job in the world. To be fair, it's probably sometimes harder than you would expect somebody that's maybe selling mortgages or something like that. Okay. This is a very, very niche marketplace. So, as you can imagine, you know, if you're selling biscuits or you're selling double glazing, then everybody needs them, you know, maybe not necessarily biscuits, but double glazing. <laughs> so, but spending, you know, upwards, you know, thousands of pounds, you know, just literally to drive around in a car for a few days, it's not really everyone's cup of tea. Um, so it becomes more, it becomes more of a, uh, sometimes a hard sell to try and get people into these vehicles. Right. Ah, so they don't sell themselves then? To a degree. I mean, as you can see, you know, we've got Ferraris, Lamborghinis, McLarens. I mean, there are massive car fans that really do genuinely want to just come in here and take them. So, of course, I mean, people that want to do it, then, you know, you can't stop them. Um, but at the same time, it becomes more about knowing your product a little bit more because people want the best deal and they want the best car from the best place. However, there's not many places around that do this, but obviously it's all a money thing these days. Yeah. So knowing more about what you're trying to sell, especially in this industry, is, is very key. So how did you get into this area then? Well, I've been in and around cars for probably as long as I can imagine. Um, a lot of driving stuff, carted for a long time when I was a, quite, quite a bit younger, um, a bit of racing stuff. So I'm a driver kind of first and foremost. And so I knew a lot about the aspects of each vehicle before I came in here. I had a lot of driving experience before I came in. Um, I think the key with me is that I like people that know that you know like the same products as myself and so i think you know i thought this, the selling aspect was a new angle for me oh okay so you were a car person first and then a sales. and then a salesman second right okay absolutely and what do you think is the hardest thing about selling something like this because it is absolutely beautiful and does drive fantastically well i think the hardest thing really when it comes down to it is is letting people well really getting past the uh, the, the stumbling block that really is the uh, the industry itself I think that sometimes there, there is a bit of a bad rep. Yep. Um, I think that, uh, that, that sometimes people think that, you know, at the end of the day, you're just going to try and take that little bit more money than you should do. <laughs> and, uh, and especially when, for example, it's for something like a wedding or somebody's, you know, they've got a really tight budget. They don't want to be, you know, they don't want to have to have the mickey taken out of them, basically. So I think it's, it's really getting across to people that what they're doing is spending money on an experience. They're spending money on a real, on a one time thing rather than, you know, trying to, you've got to make it an occasion for them. It's like, you know, being a concierge firm and making yes. sure that, you know, uh, when a Rolls Royce Phantom comes down and the champagne's chilled and the chocolates are in the right place. It's yep. the same with us, really, at the right. end of the day. So it's eye on detail and you're, you're a relationship manager as much as you are a sales manager. All my, my return clients, yeah. um, most of them are on my personal and my work phone at the same time yeah. because, you know, they, I'd much rather a client calls me and I know exactly who they are, what they've had before, and they can, you know, we can speak freely. That's the way. That's the way I like to deal with my clients, and I think that's the best way in this industry as well. Okay. Now, for most of the people that watch Only Motors, they're petrol heads. These Absolutely. Are people who would drool and give after their eye my own heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be sat where Stop I am. Stop talking right about now. sales. Let's talk about the car. However, um, there are a few who are new to the car industry, new to the car world. If you were to give some advice and say the first supercar you should drive, what mm. would that be? I think, um, even though the camera's on us here, just ahead of us, there is an Audi R8 Spider, and I think that personally would be my first choice. The Audi R8 was probably the first new supercar on the block that came along without a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or a Porsche badge and set itself up as a real icon mm -hmm. in that market. However, it still has all the all the simple uh, attributes that an Audi has. It's very simple to drive. It's very easy in regards to the layout of the vehicle. When you're in a Lamborghini and a Ferrari and you've never driven one before, then you're looking and you think, oh my God, there's buttons here and what does this mean? And, yeah. and you're very low to the ground. There's a lot of space in the Audi. Um, but at the same time, it's still got that real supercar look. So you can have that same vibe. You can drive around and people are like, wow, fantastic. And you can get that experience, but it's very easy to live with every day. And being a real petrol head like mm. you are, What's the thing you really like to take out most of all? It's always going to be the Ferrari for me, the 458. Yeah. Just purely because that, in my opinion, um, in, it, in its place in the market, which is kind of a, a, the leader of the mid-range supercars, it is the best thing that they've ever made. Mm. 
Um, it's uh, it, it's got fantastic technology. It's ludicrously fast. It's <laughs> it's it's a very very special thing to be in. It's a real occasion, but at the same time, it's still got that Ferrari X factor that you just can't get it anywhere else. So that's a real big one for me. Okay, and my last question is going to be around your your ideal passenger mm. for a supercar. Who would that be? My ideal passenger. Yeah, that's quite a strange question. <laughs> um, I think, to be totally honest, I mean, it's a weird one that you asked me that because I did a lot of work before here on circuit, driving people very quickly around mm -hmm. tracks, and mm -hmm. so you get, you know, different types of passengers. I think somebody that uh, that appreciates um, that appreciates the vehicles. I think somebody that appreciates a certain level of driving, um, and somebody that's not too afraid to uh, tell me to go a bit faster. <laughs> so, a man who lives in the fast lane. A man who lives in the fast lane, or a woman, doesn't really matter either okay. way. To be totally honest. Cool. James, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this wonderful set to work in. Not a problem, thank you. On Only Motors, we do our best to bring you the very best. And it has to be said, there is none better than Premier Velocity for supercars.